We're going to first start doing some exercises where you separate the skis from the back to one side and then to the other. Now the important thing here is that you don't move the tip of the ski too much and it's the back of the ski that is separating as you can see here. The tip stays and I'm separating the back of the ski. You can also do it by jumping. So like before, we jump, we separate both skis but make sure that the tips are not moving and it's the back of the ski that I'm opening. So we try this a few times until I get perfect at it. Once I've done these exercises, it will be much easier for you to open a full snowplow by gliding or sliding the skis on the snow, as you can see here. Now remember that it's an outward movement. Your feet are getting further and further away from each other as we open a snowplow. So these are the typical areas that you see all beginners do. The very big one is instead of opening snowplow, they try to close snowplow. So they're putting their tips together instead of opening the back.